My people, it's Ray here, back at it again with, you guessed it, a uh, voiceover, GoPro, hair scramble, dirt bike race commentary episode. It's about to be epic. John Jordan giving us the 10 seconds. 250B, 12 to 19 row. Getting ready to take off. And oh my goodness, guys, I started my bike early, shut it off like a good gentleman, started again, and then you see right here, bruh. Bruh. I get hooked behind Jerry Bell's wheel right there on the inside tree, get passed by like 85 guys. And you'll see where I pause the video, I actually hit my GoPro on my handlebar. So unfortunately, my angle is knocked slightly down and um, it's not a total crotch cam, but it's it's not ideal. But when I'm right on the next rider's rear wheel, you can see him pretty good. So we're just gonna run it. So I think I'm about like in 11th or something. I don't know. There was like 16 guys in the class. It was a big row today. So uh, I was not pumped about having a bad or. Yeah, not pumped about having a bad start. Also, this track is super tight. Um, yeah, I think there's, actually, I, th I think there's, I'm in like 15th. There's only one guy behind me. I haven't made any passes yet. And uh, I'm about to make my first one on uh, Wayland right there. Me and this guy ahead of me shoot by him. So I shoot around the outside here trying to gain some momentum and honestly I'm just like holding my breath, just uh, riding easy and looking for lines to make easy passes so I don't wear myself out because I feel like one thing I tend to do on the first lap is ride hard. I don't override where I make many mistakes but I just push really hard and use a lot of energy. See that guy making a little mistake right there, but he has this great hotline. So this is a switchback trail that goes back and forth here. And I don't know, someone came out here and just like shot a line all the way through it. Here we have a huge, not a huge bottleneck, but it's slowing up. And you see Malcolm Smith shoots in front of me right there. So boom, I'm in like 15th again. But then boom, three for one right there. Epic triple pass. And yeah, the dirt is slick. My tires are not great. Um, not too pumped. But uh, yeah, we're just pushing along. Here we have uh, Aiden just spinning on some roots. I don't know. And then I shoot up by Jerry right there. Double pass, so I've made like five, five more positions up now. And um, wipe the GoPro lens for you guys. I think Aiden still has the stock tires on from his new Yamaha, so I just ordered him some uh, new Kendas though, so hopefully he'll be ready to rip, rip it and rip it at the next race. And so I think, I believe this is Ben Johnston I'm behind on the YZ250. And you'll see up ahead of Ben there is uh, Bentley Fraley. I take this hotline here, it does not work. Um, yeah. Um, also went a little rich on the premix, so the bike is not running that great. It's running a different oil, so it kind of just guessed it on the ratio. Looking at a line right there. But yeah, so the bike is a little rich and it's not running that clean on the bottom end. And um, this is probably one of the worse tracks for uh, 125 it's especially when it was slick in the early laps I don't know I actually just picked up a 250 so 
250F, so we're going to be learning that and trying to figure out how to carry our momentum and rip it. Yeah, so up ahead of me here is Bentley Fraley and Russ Anderson. You see they bang bars right there. Bentley goes by and hear me rev revving it up at Russ. So Russ actually started in second. I believe there's Seth Fisher laying on the ground, not having too good of a time. Um, yeah, so Russ started in second, and uh, I don't know. I think he hit a tree and ejecto cedo cuzzed himself halfway down the trail. I don't know, but I don't think he was feeling too good. Yeah, so I'm kind of just... Uh, Looking through the trees, trying to find some lines on Russ, but uh, yeah, I don't know. He just lets me buy here. Cool guy. Now I'm behind uh, Carter Mitchell here on the Honda. And uh, this rider ahead of him is uh, from a different class. He can get uh, sketched out on that route right there, but it, um, he recovers, stays ahead of me. And I'm just eating roost. I can hardly see anything. And uh, thankfully the GoPro stayed pretty clean. And it get too much dirt on it. And boom, smacks a tree right there. I uh, capitalize, shoot around him. Uh, jumping a little bit ahead here. Here's uh, yeah, here's this guy on the KTM 250 XCW. Shoot by him, rev it up. He lets me buy. Appreciate it. Here's another rider from the Masters A class. Yeah, so this track was uh, actually, at near the end of the day, I think I really liked it. I started to like the flow and the tighter trees. Um, I just personally was not having a good race. But um, yeah, I enjoyed the track. I think it uh, had, a, had a pretty decent flow, especially when the dirt got some more traction in it from the sun drying it out. Shot up that uphill now, flying down this downhill right here. Yeah, so at this moment, uh, the whole race, Levi Elliott has been leading. He's riding the Cowie 250F, and um, yeah. Oh, so I blow this turn right here, get caught up in those bushes. Malcolm Smith's coming behind me, and boom, jump in front of him, not letting him pass me, he stalls the bike. Gain some ground that I lost, and yeah. So anyways, Levi Elliott's leading super fast didn't really have anything for him today uh, I don't think I even yeah I didn't even see him all day and um and then I want to say second place was uh, Caden Childers on the YZ125 representing for the small board rippers 
Um, he rode pretty good. He actually uh, won the overall. He won the overall in the three o'clock race today. So that was pretty cool. And uh, third was my, my boy Tyler Sims on the KTM 150, also representing for the small board rippers. Pretty sure Caden passed him on the last lap. I don't know what Tyler was doing, just mooning around or something. Tired, I guess. Here's Bentley. Uh, he just lets me buy. Not sure what happened to him. Don't think he was having too much of a good time. There's Ben. He lets me buy. So at this point, uh, I made my way up to fifth. Um, and then, or fourth, and Caden Childers is up ahead in third. I'm 12 seconds back of him. And uh, I ended up catching him and passing him this lap. to update you guys on how my race actually ended up finishing um, it was bad it was buns dumpster fire um, so I'll the clip will play up here in a, in a little bit I, uh, I ended up like tucking the front end the rear end slid out and my ankle slid under the bike here we go right here Yeah, so my ankle slid under the bike. It did not like feel good. It like folded backwards, and I was hurting. And uh, yeah, I, didn't, I was not too pumped. I didn't like it. And yeah, so my race was not going too great after this. Um, I ended up finishing like tenth or something. I don't even know. Um, yeah bad race um i was just about to put in a pretty good lap on this third lap i thought this was the third lap where i crashed but i don't know just wasn't my day be back in the next one at brown jug also shout out real quick to all my sponsors all the people who make it happen aka my dad who works on my bike my mom uh, Peter, Ashley, Aiden, Nick Jones, um, Kenda, yeah. Hopefully Yamaha will sponsor me, that'd be pretty cool. This clip you're watching right now is actually me riding behind my brother Pete in the 258 row. Um, my ankle started to feel a little better when I was just cruising around out there and he came by lapped me from the 258 row and I decided to just ride with him until we hit some tight row and I just let him go, but yeah, so enjoy. <laughs> 